So there, I think I have enough roots in that trench. The bigger the root is, the bigger the plant is going to be. Like this here, this little baby, it would probably be good for a flower pot, but you don't really want to plant these in terracotta pots because they expand so much that they'll crack your pot. So really these little cannas are cool in pots, but I would grow them in something besides terracotta or glass, maybe just those styrofoam pots or plastic pots. But that little baby won't get too big, maybe about three foot tall. But if you find a juicy root in here, let's dig around, find a good juicy one. All I do with these roots is bring them in the basement and throw a blanket over them. And they stay really good for me. This here, this is a nice juicy root. This one probably going to be five foot tall. If you give it plenty of water, it might be six or seven foot tall. So depending on the root size and you know, like when you plant it, and then when you dig this thing up, you're going to have four times as much root. So you don't want to lose your crop. So in the fall, maybe in the end of September, before it freezes, if you don't bury them deep enough, you got to get them back up. So I always bury mine at least about two feet deep in case I don't feel ambitious in the fall and they're so beautiful you don't want to dig them up. That gives me a little bit of time and a light frost can happen, but I don't really wait too long before I dig them up. I never let it hard freeze.